Okay guys, we are back to learning to draw clothes today. It's a topic that I'm not too familiar with. If you're struggling with it, then I'm right there with you. Hi, my name's Kenzo, and this is Love Life Drawing. You know, when it comes to drawing figures, I feel like I have a lot of familiarity with the structures to look for. I, I can play around with the gestural curves. I feel very loose, I can simplify. Now that we're introducing clothing, a lot of those skills will translate, but it won't be immediate because it's going to take time to start to understand that vocabulary of clothing, that sort of visual vocabulary when it comes to clothing. And one of the things that I think we need to build up is our familiarity with different types of folds in the fabric. So last time we looked at three different types of folds. So one is just the pipe fold. We saw a curtain rail, curtain hanging down, just these cylindrical folds in the curtain. And on the second pose in this session, even though the, the dress is black, you might need to adjust your monitor just to be able to see the folds here. Coming down from her chest, you can see these pipe folds. And then under her belt, you can see them again down the skirt. But then on one side, she's holding up the skirt with her hand. And that's creating the second type of fold that we looked at last time, which is the U-shaped fold or the diaper fold. There's two tension points, the belt and her hand and it's creating, and then gravity, and it's creating that U-shaped fold. The other type of fold we looked at last time is a half-lock fold, where the cloth is just kind of being pushed together and kind of bunching up on itself a little bit. And on the third pose, I think you can see that behind her knee. So let's start to look at some of the other types of folds that we might come across. So one is just a drop fold. So when you have something that's just hanging by gravity with one tension point, the cloth kind of creates these conical shaped folds. So, you know, you might see that sometimes with clothing when there's like a scarf or something hanging off someone's shoulder. Then there's inert folds, and that's just where the cloth is just kind of basically fallen on the floor, bunched up, creating a whole range of crazy, complex, random folds. So inert folds are pretty difficult. <laughs> Now, then there's zigzag folds and also spiral folds. And I found these a little bit confusing. So a zigzag fold is where, you know, you have maybe a cylindrical form like an arm or a leg and the sleeve or the trouser leg is kind of bunching up like uh, the bottom of a trouser leg. And it creates this kind of zigzag pattern in the folds. I've seen different definitions of what a spiral fold is. So when the cloth is really bunched up tightly rather than a zigzag pattern. It might create a sort of spiral pattern. But the other definition I've seen is where there's a twist going on and then there's an actual clear spiral fold going on there. So I'm not sure which one of those is the right definition. If you do, let me know in the comments below. Ultimately, it doesn't matter because as long as you can see what's going on and what's causing it, you know, oh, it's just tightly, tightly bunched up, or oh, it's being created by a twist. As long as you can see that, that's fine. And then one more type of fold that I've noticed is where the fabric is being pulled tight and it kind of creates these conical shaped folds. And I think that might be a variation of the pipe fold. You can see it on the third pose in this session. She's raising up her arms and you can see between her arms and her chest and also within the armpit, you start to see these little kind of pipe shaped folds. So those are, you know, there's not too much beyond that, don't worry, in terms of the folds to get used to. So something that Simon, who helped us with this demo, wanted to emphasize is, you know, when you have clothes and folds, it can get quite heavy and quite complex in the drawing. Obviously you can, like we talked about last time, you can simplify the folds down. You don't have to draw every little thing that you see so you can simplify them, but also in terms of the composition, it's kind of nice to have rest areas for the viewer's eyes. So rather than just having detail and detail everywhere, you might have a little, you know, pockets of information and then rest areas. So that might be where the cloth is just hanging down from gravity, so there's not much going on in it, or the cloth is just kind of hugging the figure, so there's not that many folds going on. And the nice thing is that often the, a lot of the folds and complexity are happening at the joints. Like you can see on this model, there's folds at the knee, there's folds around her pelvis, there's folds in the armpit. 
but it's not all the way through the figure. So you can just kind of introduce these little pockets of folds to show what's hap where's the tension happening in this fabric, what's going on, rather than worrying about loads of little details all over the place. So one thing I wanted to mention is this kind of fairly complex bunching up of the fabric just under her chest, like around her waist. So you'll see that um, it's quite tightly bunched up and also stretched around her torso. So I think there's, you know, force coming in from the top and bottom, squashing it together, and then tension going around the torso as well. So like I said before, you know, we've, we're mostly doing figure drawing here we're learning to draw, it's already difficult enough, right? We're learning to draw the simple structures of the figure, we're learning gesture, we're learning the basic volumes. And so now we're adding on this extra little layer of complexity. I do think that a lot of the skills from figure drawing will translate into our drawings of clothing, but it's gonna take a little bit of time to become familiar with it. Every time you try and learn a new skill, at the beginning it feels like you're pushing the boulder up the hill. But eventually you're going to get it to the top and it's going to start to roll itself and get way easier. So it's not always going to be so difficult. So if you do struggle with drawing clothing, I am right there with you. Um, but I really hope that you enjoy the session. Just start to think about and try and recognize the different folds that you're seeing. And that is a huge step in itself. So have a wonderful session and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow.